Today, I'm gonna put a hottie on camera. Let me know what you guys think. Welcome back to building my business. So this has never been done before, but you guys asked for it, I'm doing it. To the right of me is my loving spouse who's supported my entrepreneurial journey. And today I wanna to give you guys the chance just to kind of get to know what it's like from her perspective, uh, being with someone who is uh, on a journey. What is it like being with a madman who's on his own journey? Um, it's hard, but very exciting. There's never a dull, boring moment, but you have to be really mentally strong because he's gonna come at you with so many crazy ideas that you feel like your head's gonna explode. And to be a supporting partner, it sounds so simple, but when there's a lot of money and your children's life saving on the line, it can be very difficult sometimes. So I highly recommend to honestly have a network, friends, and lots of wine. Um, second question is this. <laughs> Today, there are people out there who, they have a job, so they're working at their job, but now they wanna do something. They're gonna like take their free time, take their Sundays that they're watching football and do a project. And how would they communicate this with their wife or their spouse? They're already paying the bills, but now they wanna like live a dream. Would you have any tips for that, that situation? I would say if you're gonna go into business, you better do all your research because it's not easy. It's going to be a lot, a lot of sacrifice and a lot of hard work. Um, you will be as a partner or a wife or a girlfriend, you're going to feel neglected and it's there's no bad intention behind that. But when your partner is growing a business like anything, someone has to pay the price. And sometimes it comes down to you, the supporting partner, because they have to really be focused um, at growing their dreams and you might feel lonely, and there's gonna be some really, really lonely time, and that goes for the same individual, your partner, who is trying to grow a business. He is gonna be sacrificing a lot. There's not gonna be football games, there's not gonna be a lot of dinner hosting because you're constantly working. And when you have a business, it isn't like a Monday to Friday, eight to five. It's constantly, every single day, you think about it. At dinner, you think about it even when you're laying in bed, so. I would recommend that you guys always make time to always communicate because there's going to be times where you're questioning each other's feelings and it gets blown out of proportion if you don't understand each other's um, thoughts. So make time on a regular basis to always communicate with each other and connect with each other. When I first started uh, Devlin Northwest, <clears throat> there wasn't a lot of traction. Uh -huh. Uh, we weren't selling anything online. I was I was meeting people in the city just selling stuff just to get things going. When did you have a feeling that things were coming together? Meaning someone's out there who's working hard, their wife or their husband is, is kind of like uh, not supportive yet because nothing has happened. When did you, when you think back the last seven years, when did you realize like, hey, I'm actually getting this. Like he, he's selling something. I, I, I kind of believe in this niche that he's in. When did you have that epiphany moment? I think for me, it was even harder than the average people out there because I came from a space where I did not use technology at all. So when you came to me and you talk about selling online, one, I couldn't even understand that part and I had to just believe it. I would say it took a good one year um, for it to kind of come together in my own mind and for, for me to process. For me, a year was kind of long because um, we need to see, we need to see how the e-commerce moves. But I think what kept us grounded was um, we didn't go into it about making the money right away. That was never um, the plan. The plan was Vu really wanted to be home with his baby. He wanted to be very, very involved. So I think if I was thinking about the money, I probably would have really stressed out. But because we had an understanding like the first two years was very important for us to be home with our children, it was actually okay. Like, I wouldn't say we stressed out. I just didn't understand e-commerce. Nico recently joined the journey. Uh, she was on leave because of our last child that was born. Maybe let, uh, let us know what your thoughts are 
now that you're in the journey, you're you're involved, mm -hmm. you're contributing. Is there a a different feeling you have uh, now that you're on the ground with the team, with me, uh, working every day towards your future? I think um, it's completely different, and it sounds so weird, but I only left for a year, and I came back to a business that is turned upside down in a very, very good way. Um, but things have changed, technology have changed, e-commerce have changed, and I'm just still in awe that in one year, Things change so much where I'm actually back in the game of learning all these new things from scratch again. But at the same time, it's really, really exciting because we're at a time now where you literally could turn your business from a million dollars to five million dollars in one year if you do it right. So there's a lot of excitement and a little bit of nervous because, you know, I'm back to studying again. Another question I get asked a lot is now that she's working with me in the same building the same 14,000 square foot building how do we get along so I'm not going to answer I'm going to let her answer which is like from your perspective um, being in a high pressurized work environment what are your viewpoints and then the home viewpoint as well <laughs> that's a very funny question um, people honestly ask me this on a daily base and that's even including my family member it is one of the hardest thing that you honestly have to decide if you're gonna work with your partner because it's not for everyone it takes a lot of discipline and a lot of communication to make it work but it's very exciting for us um, to give you an example <coughs> Vu and I leave or we get up at 5.30 every single morning. From 5.30 in the morning until 10 or 12 o'clock at night when we decide to go to sleep. I am honestly with Vu every single second besides the time I'm going to the bathroom. And we do kid sports together and we spend the weekend together. So we just spend a lot of time together. But we do have rules in place. We don't talk about business when we're at home. Um, it's just us and the family and the kids. So we do have boundaries where you really have to have it because it can break you apart. Um, seeing each other every single day also, you I think you take each other for granted. So we take a lot of time and we travel constantly and we drink a lot. If anyone can guess this hottie's nationality, I'm gonna mail this in the mail. I'm gonna mail five bucks to you guys. So in the comments below, if someone could guess what her nationality is, her nationality, this hottie, aka Request Coin, listen below. I'm gonna send this to you guys. So, again, thanks for following the business journey. You guys have asked for it. I delivered today. Keep following Friday, and I'll see you guys then.